Did you know that gas has a flame speed? And simply put, that's the speed at which a flame will stay in light during the combustion process. Once you go beyond that speed, the combustion process becomes unstable and a flame is unable to be maintained. Now, believe it or not, this is also true for a gas hob. And every time you do some cooking on your gas hob, you're burning gas at a rate at which the flame cannot stay alight. The secret then is something called a retention flame. And to understand what that is, we need to go back over to the gas hob and take a closer look. There really are only a few components to this. We have this outer support ring for resting your pans on. We have a hob cover plate which stops splashes going onto the gas air mixture and also allows the gas air mixture to be spread across the burner underneath. And if that wasn't there, gas would just shoot straight up out of this middle section here. So if we lift this burner hob, you'll see inside that we have a gas injector. So the process is then that the gas is fired up through this injector at quite a fast rate. It then comes up through the hole in the middle of the burner hob and it's mixed with air. Now at this point the gas is still too fast to stay alight and it's sent out through these larger ports all the way around the burner hob. But crucially these smaller ports allow gas to come through as well and these come through at a rate which can be burned. So with the cover plate on that, the larger ports still allow gas to come through at a fast rate. And these smaller ports, which are called retention ports, continually ignite the larger flame. So, next time you're cooking on a gas hob, impress your friends and tell them that you're burning gas faster than it can stay alight. <laughs>